Hi, I'm Sharon. And I am Snowboy. Young boy. Although I feel like Snowboy. Everybody's getting snow. Yeah, I know. Yesterday was 56 and sunny and I was out draining water out of the pool cover. Yeah. Today, I'm out hitting the trees so the branches don't all break off from the snow. Mm. Well, we were supposed to record on Wednesday and I was getting ready to set everything up outside because it was beautiful. But then you got very ill all of a sudden. Mm. You ate something bad or something you got nauseous. I don't know. So we didn't record Wednesday. And then Thursday, March 1st, what happened? I don't know. My hearing went. Yeah. Just went on the way home from Danbury and Cheesecake Factory. Yeah. We got up to elevation 940 feet and I did an ICU one. And boom, my hearing was gone. And it was awful. Poor, you could not hear for two days. It was no. terrible. So well, one day, well, a day it was like half. yeah. So you went to urgent care yesterday. Oof. <laughs> and they cleaned. Rich had wax, so they cleaned your ears. But then he also had an outer ear infection, like a swimmer's ear thing going on. Mm. So everything was swollen, and that's why he couldn't hear. Because he only can hear out of the left ear. So the left ear was bad, and then he couldn't hear anything. Poor guy. It Which is awful. good, unless you're on a plane and sitting next to a screaming infant. Then that's fine. That's, yeah, you'll bring your cotton balls with you on the plane, and everything will be fine. I hope we make it. Oh, my gosh. You've been... It's been one thing after the other with you, you poor thing. It's mm. been terrible. We should make it. Yeah, we'll make it. Boy, 12, another snowstorm. Well, they leave. Knock on wood. And they have a snowstorm over there. So... Yeah, there. Yeah, it was. It's snowy over there. Hi, everybody in, in the UK. I could see all the snow coming down, and it's beautiful, but a pain in the neck. Mm. So today we're getting what? What's happening today? What? Tell the people what's happening today in our oh. air, neck of the woods. We're in a nor'easter. We're, we're in New York. A bomb cyclone, as they call it, snow bomb. Mm-hmm. Where it's just, yeah, it's really bad. A lot worse than what they, I think they initially thought it was. Oh, yeah. We already have two trees down in the backyard. Mm -hmm. And the ones up front, which are supposed to come down. As a matter of fact, they were working right up the street yesterday, cutting down our neighbor's, all his trees up front, so they can widen the road. And now mine is starting to break off, fall down. I'm expecting the wires to go any minute. I know. We're, so if this all of a sudden becomes super dark... Because the lights went it's out. It's because we may lose power. So let's get this going really fast because mm -hmm. I don't want to lose power. So anyway, we're recording a little bit late this week due to unforeseen circumstances. Why? What's the matter? Who ate my whole roll of Queen Anne cherries? I didn't eat any Queen Anne cherries. Oh, it must have been me then. Oh, oh well. Bad boy. We've been eating candy since Valentine's Day and it's not good. But anyway, so, so this is a knitting show. It's not a show about the is weather. It? Yes. Here's a knitting show. Mm -hmm. Are you going to bring any knitting with you to Edinburgh? You should. Possibly, yeah. I'm going to bring my... Of course, I'm going to bring my shawl. Of yeah. Course. Yeah, so let's show that. I don't expect to be wandering around every night. Mm -hmm. Matter of fact, I don't want to be wandering around every night in Edinburgh. Not that I don't like Edinburgh. I've never been there. No, before. but we're going to hang out and yeah. relax. I want to enjoy the place we're renting. I mean, geez. Okay. So show off your little baby shawl. Rich did some knitting this week. Yeah, I did a few Not rows. Not much. A couple rows. Yeah. But this is basically a pattern that I kind of worked for Rich. Um, it's just a basic triangle shawl. Hmm, it'd be nice for the cat about now, but he doesn't need it. And I'm, he's doing it in garter stitch, just knitting back and forth. We, start, I, we started it in stockinette, but he didn't like the purling. So now he's just doing it in garter. Um increases on both ends um, every time he knits and then increases on the right side row for the middle so it'll have some nice long tails that he can wrap around his neck and you're doing a beautiful job look at those beautiful garter oh my goodness if you can I don't know if you can see but he ha your garter stitch is gorgeous yeah you're coming out pretty good it's so even so it's really nice. You know what I have to do before we leave? I have to put tassels on your, on your uh, scarf yeah, that you. Yeah, need. I know. We never did that, so it's no, I haven't worn it. I'm gonna I'm gonna put tassels on that today, maybe. And who knows? With this weather, it could be 96 by 
Tuesday. Yes, because it's been really odd. I mean, it was in the 60s this week, so... Anyway. So, my knitting... I've been doing a lot of knitting. Anyway... Let's go. So, quick, my quick. finished object is... Oh, look how pretty! These are... I think we'll want a dark. <laughs> Somebody on Instagram said, You can see them from space. I mean, I don't know. They're... The yarn is mustache yarns in the theory colorway. It has 32 stripes of different colors, which is amazing. I did a fish lips kiss heel, toe up. Um, yeah, basically that's it. And a two by two rib at the end to finish them off. And that's them. They're gorgeous. I love them. So I haven't worn them yet because I wanted to show them off while they were nice and fresh. Hmm. And my, my February socks are done. Two pairs of socks in two months. That's a record for me. I've been really working hard on the socks. So hopefully that will continue. All right, I have another finished object. Do you know what this is? A pot holder? Well, you're close. Feel it. It's not a pot holder. A dishcloth? It's a dishcloth. Everybody's knitting dishcloths. Why? I know. Because I want to, instead of using the grungy, disgusting sponges that we've been using in our kitchen. Well, that's going to get disgusting looking too. Well, you wash them. You well, wash I wash them. up with the sponges in a dishwasher when I do dishes. Anyway, so I knit a dishcloth. Because I was inspired by the yarn hoarder, like everyone else is inspired by the yarn hoarder. And I ordered some yarn from Knit Picks. I ordered Dishy. And, oh, Dishy's a lovely, lovely yarn. I'm very impressed. I finished this yesterday. It took me, like, two hours to knit this. It was so fast. I am using this pattern. It's a free pattern on Ravelry. Grandma's dishcloth, and I will link to it in the show notes. I am doing the one without the yarn overs. And I'm going to do them like Amber does them. So I'm going to pair these two colors because they match our kitchen, kind of. No. Kind of. And kinda. so you can get three dishcloths from one um, hank of, of dishy. Oh, so we should have lots of dishcloths. Yeah, so you can... Good. We'll have like 12 by the time I'm finished. Mm -hmm. So that'll be, you know, enough to, to use one a day and then wash them once a week. So, anyway, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to stripe the next one. Then I'll do one half and half and then maybe do like a wider stripe on another one. And use all this dishy up and I'll have six. And then I got these two colors. They don't match our kitchen, but they're pretty. And then we'll have 12. And we'll have 12. And they're so fun. I, honestly, two hours, one afternoon. I was sitting at the doctor with him yesterday. We should have most of them done by the time we hit Scotland. Well, no, I'm only going to do like one a week. So I'm done for this week. And I'm not going to drag Dishy to me, with me to Scotland. So I'm just going to bring sock yarn. So anyway, that was that project. Super fun. Oh, and my, the whole other thing, the interesting thing about this, I have never knit a cotton dishcloth ever. In all my knitting career, never ever have I knitted a cotton dishcloth. Your knitting career isn't that long. Well, I, I've been knitting since I was a kid. I never knit when I was married to you until a few years ago. Well, I started knitting, like really knitting, where I'm a crazy knitter in 2006. So, 12 years, but I haven't, I've never knit a, I've knit a acrylic dishcloth when I was teaching myself how to knit, but not a cotton one that will be usable. So, that's pretty cool. I never really wanted to knit them. I just wanted to knit, like, a, things you can wear, but, eh, this is practical and they're easy and they're fun, because they're fun colors. And I like dishy. It didn't hurt my hands. A lot, you should knit dishcloths. That'd be easy. Just knit dishcloths. Hmm. It's super easy. It's just garter stitch for that pattern. 
And a lot of people say cotton hurts their hands. It doesn't really hurt my hands. Um, maybe it's a little more tiring than to knit with wool after you're knitting on it for an hour or so, but I didn't have any problem. It was knit up great. I used a size 7 needle. And I started out with a 6, and it was too tight, and it, I didn't like it. So I ripped it back and then started with a 7, and it was great. Okay, so works in progress. This is my main project. I've been knitting on it like crazy. Oh, I have stitches came off the needles. Oh. Well, you'd be more careful when you put it away. Well, I did, but... Okay, so isn't this cool? Mm -hmm. This is Indigo Frost, and... It's a Clint Eastwood poncho. It's not a Clint Eastwood pon poncho. I can't remember. I'll put the designer down below. It's, I think it's Isabel Kramer. Don't quote me, though. But anyway, I love it. Look at the color work. Isn't it pretty? Mm -hmm. Very nice. I love the color work. The color work was so much fun. And it, it was just, it was a slip stitch color work. So, super fun. The only thing is, you know how you knit and you get in the zone? I, I, at least I do. You know, and I'm doing a pattern and I have to, you know, knit three, slip one, knit three, slip one, you know, that kind of thing. And I just chant that to myself as I'm doing it. Well, all of a sudden, like in the middle of a row, I'll be like, knit three, slip one, and I'll switch it. I'll be like, knit one, slip three, and <sighs> I don't know. So I kind of mess it up a little bit. I mean, I ripped it back and fixed it, but, you know, I'd be knitting along and I'm like, wait, I'm supposed to be knitting with mm -hmm. yellow, not with brown. So I don't know. But this is my hand dyed yarn. I dyed this. Oh, good. Feel it. Super nice. fuzzy. It'll be nice and warm anyway. It's going to be very warm. And I dyed this yarn. This is non superwash wool. So it doesn't take the color as easily as superwash, so it was a little tricky to dye. But I managed, and these are the colors that I used in the color work. I used that beautiful, like, misty gray, and then these colors. I love, I love the yarn. I love it. It's comparable yardage. It's the exact same yardage as Cascade 220. But in my opinion, so much nicer. It's so much rounder and substantial. It's lovely. I mean, no, there's nothing wrong with Cascade 220. It's a great wool, but this is this is much nicer. So if you guys are interested in a sweater out of this, just let me know. Send me a message. Email me or PM me on Etsy, and we'll talk. If you're Is that the port your head goes through? Yeah. Oh, okay. It's a turtleneck, see? Oh, okay. So... Yeah, so it's like that. I love it. It's beautiful. The yarn's knitting up. Oh, I love it. So nice. So that's, I've been working on that pretty much as my main project nonstop. And the other thing is I started a pair of socks, but you're not going to see anything because they are pretty much just one row. So these are the socks. They are called the Reynard Sock. Reynard Sock, sorry, Reynard Sock by Kristen Kapoor. And they actually have a pattern. I am going to be knitting a patterned sock. And it's awesome. It's all cables. And I really love cables. And I do cables without a cable needle. So much easier. I knit a huge, huge, you know that blanket in the living room? That mm -hmm. giant, all, it was all cables. It was different squares of all different cables. Where is it? It's hanging in the living room on a... On a oh, yeah. Well, you never see it because it's hanging. Well, you could see it, but I... It's really heavy blanket. It's really warm. I don't usually need it because I'm warm enough, but anyway. So I learned how to cable without a cable needle. So these are super easy. You just... I don't know. So much okay. easier. So, I'm actually using like very, very pale gray yarn. 
a solid. This is Plucky Knitter Primo. It's got cashmere in it. And it, it uh, the colorway is Wintry Mix. Isn't it pretty? Mm -hmm. How come you're not using yellow? Um, because I didn't have yellow in my stash. Oh. I had this, and I thought it would make a beautiful okay. sock. So You didn't make any sock yet, so... Not really much. To I show. didn't. I mean, I cast it on. It's a Pico <laughs> cast on. I mean, really, it's it, it's itty bitty. I did one row. <laughs> Thanks for sharing that. With I us. mean, really, it's like one row. But next week, I'll have more to more to show. I've been really concentrating on that poncho, but yeah. So that's basically it, guys. I mean, yeah, and I did that dishcloth, so. That's about it. Okay. And let me talk about what I'm wearing because I always forget. It's so cold today. I was freezing. I put on Big Old Coat by Hohi Locatelli. And I don't wear this very often um, because, I don't know, when I'm when I'm out and about, I, I don't know. I, I should, hopefully now that it's springtime, what? Yeah, hopefully now that it's spring. Looks like springtime out there. Jeez. Hopefully now that it's hopefully going to be springtime, I will just, this will be a, a coat I can just throw on and, you know, go outside and do errands in because, you know, if it's a little cool. But it's perfect for today because I am I was freezing and I needed wool. Okay. And this is my Land of Sweets cowl. So. All right. Oh, here. New bags. Oh, oh, God. We're... <laughs> Okay, so we're starting <laughs> shop update. So the shop update has already happened. It happened Wednesday, uh, February 28th, 2018. It already, it already happened. So there's still everything left in the shop. So I have two new bags. Mm -hmm. So the first one is, isn't it cute? An M&M bag. m and m Yes, m and What's on the inside? M&M's? I think it's just plain. Oh. Orange for this. Yeah, orange. Oh, okay. Well, maybe it would be heavy and M&M's or something. That would be cool. So I dyed this yarn to match. And for this bag, you have the option of getting the bag and yarn or just the bag alone on my site. So, Because I have all the bags. There's only two left, but they're super cute. That's cute. Thank you. Nice yarn. Mm -hmm. This one I love, too. Aren't these gorgeous llamas? Llamas. Llamas. So this is lovely llamas. I couldn't think, of, they're lovely. They have beautiful long eyelashes and they're so pretty. And I love the yarn, love the yarn that matches. So this is lovely llamas. I have three left of these. So these are, both of the bags are pre-orders. Okay. And I have some yarn, a little bit. Okay, so mm. this colorway, I love this. What do you think of this colorway? Isn't it gorgeous? That's pretty nice. This is Black Panther, based on the movie poster. Mm. So if you saw the movie poster, this pretty much matches the movie poster. I will oh, okay. put the movie poster up, but this is Black Panther. I'm also going to do another Black Panther themed um, yarn this weekend. It'll be available next week. But if you want um, the trendy base, I have it in trendy and posh. So if you want, the trendy base has an available mini skein option. So you can choose whether you want to pick this with a mini skein or without. I did that this week. So I listed them with or without. So up to you. But I love it with the mini skein. Hmm. I love this color. Okay. Oh, got a lot of mini skeins in here. I do. All right, so I have two skeins of um, Poor Unfortunate Soul in the trendy base. And that's the mini skein I came up with. Isn't oh, it cute? Okay, yeah. The purple. That would go good. Mm -hmm. And then this is a new color. I love it. 
it's similar to um, Twilight Princess, but it's much more jewel tone, and I love it. In fact, I'm knitting my Le Milieu shawl out of this color. So there it is in brioche. It's just beautiful. I love it so much. This is Enchantress. And it's just these gorgeous deep jewel tones. My favorite. And this one's kind of coming apart, but it's okay. And then I did this super cute pink with black speckles and other colored speckles. Isn't it pretty? Mm. And here's the matching mini skein. A little black matching mini skein. Yeah. So I think that the black in the trendy base, you can pick, you can get this mini skein. I think it would look awesome with black heels, toes, and cuffs. So I love this. So this is Girl Boss. This what? Girl Boss. Okay. Girl Boss. I'm a girl boss, right? I'm my own boss. Girl Boss. Girl Boss. Okay. I love it to pieces. And just a couple odds and ends here I have. I have um, one skein of Morning Mist available in the uh, Classy DK base because I did a custom order and then I had a little oopsie and there's some teal in here, which is fine, but I didn't want to send it out as a custom order with a little teal. So I have this in the shop and then I have this one which was also a oops. <laughs> I meant to speckle this with pink and I speckled it with orange, but I think it's mm. gorgeous. So this is pinky swear. I have this in the shop. So that's it. I dyed some beautiful, I'm getting hot now. Ooh. Yeah, I know. It's getting, getting warm here for some reason. I'm gonna take this. Hopefully the temperature is going up outside. Hopefully. But it's still snowing. Anywho, so all of this that I showed you is in the shop. I dyed some yarn yesterday. It's beautiful for a three color shawl, Hohe's new shawl that she, it's like a faded, I forget the name of it, but I'll link it down below. I dyed some yarn to go with that and it's gorgeous and I want to cast it on, but I'm not going to because I'm knitting sweaters this year. So anyway, yeah. Okay. Not much to say this week, huh? You're kind no. of quiet. Right, they go to tree guys. Oh, Ooh, yeah. maybe they're going to come and start working again. Maybe. <laughs> Look at them all. Well, they're probably going and cutting down trees so people get their power back because, oh. yeah. Anyway. That's it. That's it. See you in Scotland. <laughs> well, no, we're going to record next week. Oh, we are? Yeah, we have a I show. I should be packing. You still have time. It'll take me all week. It's not going to take you all week. It'll take you all five minutes to pack. Oh, Rich has luggage envy. Not anymore. No, I know. I ordered luggage. And I ordered it from away.com, and I'll link it down below. And because I, I hadn't had new luggage in like 20 years. So I ordered, I treated myself, ordered myself some new luggage. And it came, and I opened it up and brought it downstairs, and Rich is like, that's beautiful. I want one. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, well two, it's like having two suitcases in one. It's really pretty cool. It's a beautiful suitcase. So I ordered him one, and it was here in two days. So you have your own beautiful suitcase. Mm -hmm. So I'm super yep, excited about it. Sitting right there. Yeah. So we're get, we're going to be packing, getting ready. I'm getting all the, everything. I'm getting some British pounds to bring with me. The bank, I ordered them from the bank. They're coming tomorrow. My credit card doesn't charge any fees for overseas transactions, so I'm good with that. I need to get my phone straightened out. Um, we're on Verizon, and Verizon has an international data plan. I need to call them about that. And I need to make sure that our luggage is paid for, because we're checking our luggage on the plane. We're not carrying on. No, who wants so, to carry anything? No, I hate that. I, hate I don't care. I don't mind paying money. I, no, I first of all, it. I can't lift it. I really, I don't have the strength to lift luggage above my head. I just don't. So I can't carry on anything heavy. So 
You know, I can't be bothered. No. No. Like, I, why? So it's, what, $20 to check your bag? Who cares? Yeah. I mean, it may be more, because it's international, but I don't, I don't care how much it is. <laughs> Our flights were cheap enough. We're good. Mm. So, oh. So this is the first show of March, and that means I'm going to have a giveaway. Oh. So put a comment down below and tell me if you could go to any fiber festival anywhere in the world, which fiber festival fist, bleh, I can't talk. Which fiber festival would it be and why? Fiber festival in the world. Wow. What so would if I go? any fiber festival in the world, which one would you go to? Cutter Fiber Festival. Cutter? Yeah, we're in Cutter in the Middle East. Okay. Don't they have a fiber festival? I don't know. They may. No, I have, probably not. I have no idea. They don't have any fiber over there. Anyway, I, oh, they have sheep. Middle East has a lot of sheep. Yeah, true. They yeah. must have fiber. Of course they do. At they least you know there it'll be warm. Because More than you they, can say for here. I'm reading a book right now. Um, it's called The Dove Keepers. It's set in the time of Jesus, maybe a hundred years later. And it's about the Romans taking over um, the Middle East and, and how they're, they're killing all the Jews, you know, in the Middle East and whatnot. And anyway, so they talk about spinning and, and, and um, weaving and a lot, it's all wool that mm. they spin, you know. So that was very interesting. And I love that book. It's fabulous. Great to listen to. I listen to books when I work, when I die, and it's awesome because <laughs> I love to read and I... You know, I don't have time to sit down with a physical book, but listening to books is better for me. I, I love listening to books, so that's a really good book. Oh, Alice Hoffman is the author. So it's um, The Dove Keepers by Alice Hoffman. It's, sad, it's got sad elements to it, but it's a great book, and it's all about women and how they're surviving in this turmoil. So it's very interesting. Okay. So... Oh, anyway, so put a comment. Nice book report. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to get off topic there, but put a comment down below. Any fiber festival in the world, where would you go and why? I will have a drawing. You only have a few days because we're going to be recording again next Wednesday. I'm hoping, fingers crossed, and I'll draw the winner then. So that's about it. Okay. Well then, let's sign off and. I have to go outside. I know. He's very distracted today because of outside. Doesn't take so, much to distract me. Yeah, I know. <laughs> no wonder we're all four of us in our family. We're all ADD. <laughs> That's <laughs> Anyway, so have a great week. And enjoy yourself. Happy knitting. And shovel out good. Yes. And cheers. Cheers. Can you see my bag? What do you mean, can I see can that bag? Can you see bag? the bag in the frame? No. Okay. Oh. What? No. what? My finished objects are over there. Can you go get them? Bags in the yarn right there on the couch. No, the bags in the yarn right over there. Watch. I meant the project bags. There's two project bags over there that Donna sewed. Oh. Did you save me a cherry? What? Did you save me a cherry? Why would I save you a cherry for? You don't deserve one. I gave you all the caramels from the thing I bought for myself. <laughs> anyway. Should have bought me a bigger, a bigger box. I'll buy you two boxes next time oh. I go. Someone did break in here and try and steal one. The cat. I know him. Are there any left? Yes, there's oh. half a box. Okay, I'm gonna have some. Not that that's half many, but. <laughs> Thanks for recording, honey. Mm. Can I have a cherry? You can have the cherry, of course. It only comes with ten in a box. That's pretty chancy, man. I know. I'll get you yeah. another box tomorrow. Oh, next time we get out. Mmm, dark chocolate. I know they could. You can't just have one. I'm just going to have one. That's all I need.